Hi, it's Jesse with Bullgrid, and I'm here today to help out uh, another one of the users in the Bullgrid support forums. Uh, Craig is um, using a short code um, that he has to use the text editor to modify. Um, and what's going on is every time Craig switches in between the visual editor and the text editor, a whole bunch of paragraph tabs with uh, ampersand NBSP uh, are added to his markup that screws up his short code. Um, so Craig, great question. This actually happens um, to a lot of people. Um, this is a problem that exists uh, within the classic editor of WordPress. Um, so Bulgrid Posted Page Builder, Classic Editor, um, any other builder that's built on top of the classic tiny MCE WordPress editor has this issue. Um, and there are plugins out there on the repo to fix it for the front end of the website. Um, but as far as I know, none of them actually solve the problem uh, of the um, automatic P's, which are in WordPress lingo is called WP Auto P. Um, none of them actually disable it uh, during that switch from the visual to the text editor. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to fix today. Um, so just to give you an example of the problem, um, I've got a paragraph of text here. Um, and I'm going to switch over to the text editor. And outside of the paragraph tab, I'm going to add another paragraph here. And if I switch back over to the visual editor, here's the paragraph I just added. And if I switch back to text, uh, you'll see that it has these automatic paragraph tags added. Um, so, uh, like I mentioned, there are plugins out there that fix this on the front end, um, but for your situation where it happens switching back and forth, um, the only way I know of how to fix it is with a small uh, PHP code snippet. Um, so if you don't already have it, uh, go to Plugins, Add New, and um, search for the Code Snippets plugin. Um, if you're using a child theme, you can also do this in your themes functions.php folder uh, file, excuse me. But uh, Code Snippets is a really easy way to manage um, custom PHP code from your dashboard um, and makes it easy to uh, revert changes if a mistake is made. Um, so once you've got that, go ahead and go to uh, Snippets, um, Add New. And I have the uh, sample snippet here. I'm going to call this Disable WP Auto P. And um, there's a couple of lines here that you can see. I'm going to blow this up so you can see it on the video a little bit better. Um, so uh, the main ways, if you look this up on the internet, um, the main ways people tell you to disable WP Auto P is by removing the filter on both the content and the excerpt. Um, that will work for removing automatic paragraph tags from the front end of your website, um, but it does not fix the problem where WP Auto P runs on the initialization of the visual editor, the classic editor. Um, so this is the, uh, the important bit of code here that removes that. Um, so it's a filter on the tiny MCE, which is the editor, uh, before init hook. And um, the, the initialization for tiny MCE has an array of options. Um, so we're going to change the option for uh, WP Auto P to be false and then return the options. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this code snippet. And then I'm going to go back to the page we were editing. And I'm going to turn the zoom down a little bit. Um, I'm going to reload the page so that the code snippet can be loaded on TinyMCE. And so you can see the visual editor looks basically the same. Um, but when I go to the text editor, all of a sudden um, we don't have a nice um, line breaks in between all of our HTML tags. This is what the raw code looks like. Um, and this is uh, essentially is going to be a part of the desired effect of, um, of what we're trying to accomplish. So um, in the same manner, I'm going to go right here um, outside of the paragraph tag, and I'm going to add another paragraph here. Um, and if I go back to the visual editor now, I will see my new paragraph. It is outside of this paragraph. Uh, but when I switch back to the text editor, it is not surrounded by an automatic paragraph tag. 
Um, so that's how you do that. Um, anyone finding this video, I'm going to have that code in the video description as well as on bullgrid.com. Um, so uh, come by to the Bullgrid support forums, ask us, ask us a question, and we're very happy to help. Thanks, Craig.